All right, we're back inside the Apache sprayer today. Uh, this is part two of a two-part video that we're going over this Apache AS720 sprayer, and ours came with the Raven Invisio Pro GPS that is built into these sprayers. So we're gonna go over a quick overview on how to set that up, how to get an AB line started and get started in the field. Once you're out in the field, you're gonna push this blue button over here and hold it for this screen to come on. It may have you do a screen calibration. If it does, there will be four pluses in each corner that you hit and then hit confirm in the middle. This time it didn't have me do it. So you've got your basic switches here. This is your stop job or on off switch. This is your settings page and this is your play button which goes to the GPS. So the first thing we'll do is go into settings. Your machine should be calibrated from the beginning, there's other videos online on how to calibrate all the settings of the different booms and everything to go with that. So we're gonna skip that part and just go to the basics today. Once we're on this screen, we'll go to product control. We'll go to calibration settings. And this rate cal is where you're going to input your rate on what you wanna spray, how many gallon per acre. We're set at 15 right now, so we're gonna assume that we're setting 15. If you want to change that, hit 15.0, hit the green check mark, and the green check mark again, and yet again, and you're back to the home screen. This is where you're gonna find anything on your guidance widths, your offsets, uh, all your different sections, your auto steer, your auto boom, your auto height if you've got it, all these different things and this is also where you're going to update it and change anything but that's how to set the basic rate calibration on this machine all right from here we're going to hit the play button this will take us to our new job screen from the top you hit job you can change it to a name that you have we'll hit start new job for the purposes of this video we'll just name it something random all right so you have your new job if you want your accu control which is your auto boom uh, or accu boom it will be set here so we have that enabled green check mark here you pick your product which we're going to spray roundup hit roundup and we want 15 gallon an acre so here's where you're going to input your gallon per acre and if you want to change that, you can change it by typing it in and hitting the green check mark. We're going to stick at 15 gallon an acre. So we're going to hit 15. You can choose manual, off, or automatic. We're going to stick with automatic. And that's going to be our only product. So we'll hit the green check mark and this will start the job. There you have your liability waiver you can read through. Yes, I agree. And it will take a few seconds to pull up the new job. From this point, this is the main screen on the Invisio Pro. You can see up in the top, you have your light bar on your AB line, how close you are. It shows your product. It shows your product rate. This is your actual product rate. If you want to bump that up or down in the field, you can use these green arrows. You have your auto tracking gauge. This is where the sprayer is sitting on the map. You have your nine section booms. This is your auto boom setting. To turn that on, you want it in blue. If you want to do it manually, you want it in green. And to shut it off, you turn it in red. So we're going to leave it on auto boom, which is in blue. In the bottom, you have set A and set B line. So you're going to hit this whenever you start your A line and then hit it again once you drive to B. That will set your main A, B line. You have your product pressure up here. You have how much liquid is in your product tank and how many acres you've covered. Once you start covering acres, there will be a map right here show up. If it is red, you're not putting on enough chemical. If it is green, you're putting on the right amount of chemical. And if it's purple, you're over applying. You can adjust the zoom level here. And then these are your main settings. 
So this will set different AB lines. This is your shifts. This changes the view of the map. You can mark flags to mark locations. And if you hit this and hit home, it will take you back to the main screen. So again, in conclusion, once you get to the field and you get your job set up, you can get to this screen, mark your A line once you're ready, drive to point B, hit B, and it will be all ready to go. Then you can hit this switch on your joystick, this button right here to engage it, or the pedal on the floor to engage your auto track. The little control switch panel below has got all your boom shutoffs which will show up right here if you switch one off. If you only want to spray with a couple sections, you can shut these off individually to spray. Um, there's two on the outside wings, two on the inside of the wings, the center section, and then two on each of the others. The right and left are for your fence row nozzles. This one's equipped with just one right fence row nozzle, so if you want to hit that, you flip that on to activate it. After you're done spraying, and you're done with the job, you'll hit the home screen button and this becomes a stop button. Hit the stop. Do you want to end this job? Green check mark. It closes out the job once you're on this screen. Hit the red button again, which is the power button. Hit the green check mark. Are you sure you want to shut down? Hit the green check mark. It will show shutting down. And then eventually it will tell us to push and hold the power button for five seconds. And this will power off the Invisio Pro. And that completes part two of setting up this Apache sprayer with the Invisio Pro. Uh, if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. We're still kind of learning this machine too, but hopefully this gives you an overview on how to get it set up, how to get to the field, and how to start spraying.